So before I embark on eating, I want to share a little bit about um, the plans I have um, for the next couple weeks. Also, if you hear my cats in the background, just ignore. Um, so I like feeling light, um, but I don't want to achieve that uh, by being underweight. I like feeling satisfied, but I don't want to achieve that by watching my weight creep up again. I do have a weight range I want to keep myself at, which is 110 to 115. I feel too weak below 110, and I feel fatigued above 116. During my raw carnivore experiment, I even saw my weight creep up a bit. Granted, it will go back down into my range, but I did see it creep up to 116, and it even dropped below 110. But usually I am in this tight range where I feel and look my best. I would like to keep with this way of eating since raw carnivore um, OMAD made me feel the best overall. Looking through my meals, I did discover some of the meals that truly made me feel great and kept me in this tight range. So typically that's ground beef and fish um, and um, eggs and most recently my bacon bowl with fish on top. Surprisingly, the bacon bowl clocked in at 600 to 800 calories, depending if I topped it with fish or not. Um, and I was doing this about every other day the past week or so. Um, and I realized it's really similar to the 4-3 or 5-2 diet. Um, it's really hard for me to do um, zero calorie alternate day fasting. So I mainly did um, zero calorie alternate day fasting, which was eat one day, zero cows the next, rinse, repeat. That was what really got me to lose my COVID weight quickly combined with carnivore. My eating days were still OMAD, one meal a day. I did not do three meals one day, zero the next. It truly was every other day OMAD. And as you all know, typically I am OMAD in which I eat at an hour 22 to 24 depending on how I feel in my schedule. Eating carnivore really does make fasting easier. And having done alternate day fasting and extended fasting, that does make OMAD even easier. I was beating myself up mentally for trying to do um, zero calorie ADF again and only being able to do OMAD. But come on, I can fast for 22 hours and it's a breeze. And I can do it fueled the night before on a 800 calorie bacon bowl because it is so satisfying. So my new fasting experiment for the next couple weeks, I will do alternate day fasting again, but the 4-3 version. Um, but instead of the 500 calories um, that people um, eat with the 4-3 version, I'm going to do it with um, the calories that, that are recommended for 5-2, which it used to be 500, but um, Dr. Michael Mosley increased it to 800. Um, so again, for the 4-3 and 5-2, both had down days. Um, but um, yes, I'm going to do the 4-3 schedule, but with the 5-2 calories. Um, my other meals that I truly enjoyed um, and I feel good after eating. I was surprised that my ground beef meals, even if uber fatty, were in the 0 0.8 to 0 0.9 range. Um, and if anyone's read the PE book, um, that's a maintenance range. The PE book is from William Schufeld and um, Dr. Ted Neiman. Um, my ribeye meals would clock in at the 0 0.9 to 1.0 range. Um, I know this was... This is most likely not the goal for the author of the PE diet. Um, I mean, they offer it as a more varied approach, and it doesn't stick to one certain way of eating. So highly recommend the PE book and that calculator. Um, you can use it being vegan, keto, low-carb, high-fat, low-fat, high-carb, carnivore, whatever. As long as it has a good PE score, one is good to go. Um, and I also saw when my PE score was a little lower, and my cows were high the day before, my body self-corrected and went for the 800 calorie bacon bowl. And this was done um, prior to me even counting on my cats. At the end of my raw carnivore experiment, I counted after the fact. Um, and that's when I realized my body was doing up-down days um, automatically and 
True, some of my meals um, were not in the maintenance PA, PE range, but a lot of them were. Um, and realizing my body is one great homeostatic machine. So here's the plan. My way of eating will not change. Carnivore, mainly raw. Although there may be some days I will do cooked or mixed. I do love hard boiled eggs and canned fish like sardines. Maybe a cooked cheeseburger here and there. One meal a day, although on special occasions, holidays, maybe a too mad, but mostly OMAD. Um, changed on my fasting protocol. I'm going to eat every other day at 800 calories, um, starting, well, three days a week. Starting Monday, I will do Monday, Wednesday, Friday for one month. Um, one day will be a free day. Um, yeah, so one day will be a free day. No, not where I eat cake, but still carnivore, still OMAD. But it's a day I won't count and won't plan. I will just have what carnivore foods I crave that day. Again, maybe a cheeseburger or two or three with no bun, of course. So again, I'm going to do the 800 calorie days, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. The other days, my feast days, calories won't matter, but I'm going to try to have a PE ratio above 0 0.7. Cause in the book it says maintenance is 0 0.5. Um, to I think one, but I want to play it a little bit more safe than that. Training. Um, I was doing three days of training, usually running and lifting on the same day. Running in the morning, 20 minutes usually, and kettlebell lifting during lunch or in the evening, which was 25 minutes. So just a total of 45 minutes, three days a week. This time I'm actually shortening that to 20 minutes only for kettlebell lifting. Is, um, I began a new program. I, used, I was doing visual impact kettlebells and I loved it, and, but I finished it and had great success. And now I'm doing another program. Um, so um, because I mainly lift at lunch um, and as a nurse, my schedule is getting really busy. Um, we are short staffed. So it's best for me to be in and out just in case <laughs> my lunch gets shortened even further. So now um, my running will still, say, stay, will still stay usually at 20 minutes. That's it. And my lifting, I've cut it five minutes short. It's now only going to be 20 minutes of uh, kettlebell lifting. So 40 minutes total, three times a week. I want to try and uh, make this part of my maintenance lifestyle. Something I can truly follow. So stay tuned. Public service announcement before you watch me eat. It is a few days post my second COVID dose and my boyfriend, the best boyfriend in the world, wrote me a happy vaccination card. <laughs> you are brave, intrepid, gallant. I am not scared, I'm eager, I can endure pain, daring, literally strong, enthusiastically getting a shot that protects you and others around you. Feeling great after getting my second COVID dose. I'm still masking, still social distancing. So please have some compassion. And if you have the opportunity to get your COVID vaccine, don't be scared. People say, aren't you scared, April? I eat raw meat. No, I'm not scared. Okay, here is my meal. Usually I don't have turkey, but it was on sale. I usually love ground beef, but turkey was like a dollar. <laughs> um, I have my ribeye, my liver, and my fish, and my egg. Let's take a bite of this turkey. Like I said it was only a dollar at the store. Good thing I have fatty ribeye. It was pretty lean. But I like it. It doesn't taste bad at all. I wouldn't eat the turkey by itself though because I know that I need more fat than what's in this.
So this is a pound of turkey. Um, about, because I weighed this, 10 ounces of steak, 10.16 ounces, two ounces of liver, four ounces of salmon, and two eggs, one in my beef bowl, I mean my turkey bowl, and one on the plate. Pretty good. Okay, time to have some raw liver. It actually tastes sweet. Okay, I'm going to finish up eating my liver. You can watch me. Then I'll take a little break to read the paper. I'm sure you guys don't want to just watch me read the paper while I eat. This is just whatever I got at Whole Foods. My favorite liver, though, is goat liver. Love goat liver. I haven't been able to find it many places except at the farmer's market. Delicious and the perfect vitamin. Okay. Time for my ribeye. I wish I could afford this more, more often. <laughs> This one meal a day I get introduced to um, fasting um, by Brad Pilon um, I can't remember what the book was but I used to do a program called the Venus Index and they had recommended one to two days of um, 24 hour fasting and at the time it was so hard for me to do actually no it wasn't 2012 I think it was 2009 I can't remember it was yeah 2009 now it's just so easy but at the time I wasn't low carb um, I was, I wasn't, you know, doing a typical sad diet either, um, but I wasn't low carb. You know, I was doing like chicken breast broccoli type stuff. <laughs> and brown rice. So yes, it was really hard to uh, fast for 24 hours once a week. Now I pretty much do that every day. So do cows count? I'm actually going to say yes, they do. But going low carb works too.
low carb, especially carnivore, really satisfies me and satisfies me on less calories. Like I had to keep eating all the time when I was eating, you know, breakfast. I used to get a multi-green muffin for breakfast with a skim milk latte because, you know, multi-green muffin, that was healthy. And then I'd be hungry again within an hour or two because my sugar went up and then dropped down. <laughs> I also had a trainer tell me, you gotta eat six times a day. Before that, I was eating three times a day, like, you know, people did in the 70s and early 80s. My mom wasn't telling me to eat snacks all the time. When I came home from school, I had to wait till dinner to eat, and I didn't starve. <laughs> I walked into that gym with no with a normal relationship with food, not food focused at all. Trainers that eat six times a day. I walked out of that gym many months later with an eating disorder because of that horrible advice. And I struggled with it. for almost 15, 20 years. Gosh, I really love Redmond Sea Salt. Eat like a lady. Or like a cave woman. According to my DNA results, apart from the obvious, I am a quarter Irish. And also, I have 61% more Neanderthal than other people on 23andMe. Obviously. According to my DNA results, apart from the obvious, I am a quarter Irish. And also, I have 61% more Neanderthal than other people on 23andMe. Obviously.